What is going on gamers, RC Styles here today. I am taking you all back to where Warcraft all started. Yeah, I know a lot of you WoW players out there don't realize that there was a beginning to the world of Warcraft, and that was these games right here. Um, first off, I do have to mention that A, my camera's not up. There we go. Now my camera's up. Fuck that. And uh, secondly, I have to mention that for some reason, this game runs perfectly fine without my OBS running. Um, but if I run OBS, then it makes the game kind of wonky. So what I'm going to do is eliminate the sound from this. It may still make the gameplay a little slow, but, um, you know, we, we got to deal with what we got to deal with. So I'm going to eliminate the two sounds here. Save and exit. Run Warcraft. Now this game is a real-time strategy type game. In a way you can compare it to chess. It's actually a very awesome game. I love it. Um, I kind of wish that World of Warcraft would go back and uh, add in a um, you know feature that would let people play this. But we're going to go ahead and start a new game. And I'm going to be using two different codes here too as well to help speed up the video. Um, in the first section right here, this is going to tell you that, and you can see how slow everything's running with that. They're going to tell you that, you know, basically you're in a new realm, and to show them that you have an example of might, that you want to build six farms in a barracks. And that is exactly what we're going to do here. But before we do... Like I said, I'm going to add those two text codes. And now, in my day, we call them codes. Nowadays, they call them mods, I guess, because people are too damn offended at the word cheats. And here we go. And you'll know that you've entered the proper cheats because that message will pop up. And we got one more that's going to show us the full of the map. And again, I'm only using these to help speed up the stream and let's get this started how I like to do this at first is I'll send this guy right here over to start harvesting gold then I'll come over here and I'll train a new peasant jeez it is moving on the slow side they so said that's still moving pretty quick though compared <coughs> When this guy's done, I'm going to have him harvest some lumber. He's going to go over there and do that. While he's doing that, I will train yet another peasant. And this one will be our initial builder. Uh, well, looks like i got to get one of these guys to build a farm first before I can train another peasant. That won't be a problem at all. When he comes back out of the house, all I gotta do is click on him. There he is. Click on him. Build. Select a farm. And you have to build these near cobblestone. So that's what we'll do there. We're gonna need to move this guy because he's standing in the way of where one of our cobblestone places are gonna be. In order to build our third farm. While that's doing that, I can double back over here, build another set of cobblestone right here, and right here, and right here. Now it's going to be enough cobblestone for us to build our next farm, but as you can see, we're going to need a little bit more gold before we can do that. So we want to go back to our builder here, and we're going to go ahead and harvest our gold again. Now, with a second farm made, as soon as our gold builds back up, I should be able to go ahead and <clears throat> make my you know additional characters my peasant and everything else but when that mine goes I'm going to need to travel over to another mine and there will be one right there and while our guys are doing all this I can go ahead and make this happen over here 
So these two guys are going to go take care of our enemy that we have sitting and chilling right here. Well, these guys finish up with, you know, the little task that I got them doing. Before we can add another farm, or rather we're going to train a peasant first, we need to accumulate 400 gold. So while that's taking place, my two soldiers are going down to bust this guy's ass up. I'm just going to wait here. It's taking forever to do things. Like I said, the OBS seems to slow my game down an awful lot. <coughs> There's not much I can do about that part, I guess. Um, so, I'm saying we're just waiting for that. Oh, the battle's begun over here. I love how they're saying we're under attack, but yet we're the one doing the attacking here. This guy hasn't even gotten in the place yet to start wailing on him. He's going to go over there to where he was. That's what's going on. Okay, so there we go. He's going to go back over and join the attack there. Now we're at 250 gold and 200 lumber. So we got we lost one soldier, and this one, he's not even damaged much yet, but we're going to go ahead and return him back over to our town so you can stand guard in the meantime because sometimes these guys over here they like to fucking travel and try to cause problems so before we go and attack anybody else we're gonna need another um a soldier but in order to get that we need barracks and we're getting there too should be the last set of gold i need to create another peasant I think I'm actually going to do, take the time to create two more peasants in order to move things along. That's going to train him. Now I do have another mod that I could allow me to boost my gold, but... Uh, you know, I mean, I'd rather use as little mods as possible. Uh, I, I can't really honestly say I'm huge into mods, except for when it comes to the older games. Because with the older games, some of them were extremely hard. And, and, you know, in order to show and showcase videos to people accurately, you don't want to be dying a thousand times just to get through a section that you had planned out. So we're going to have him help out with some of this here. Before we go ahead and we create yet another... Yeah, yeah yet another peasant Alright, so that gave us a lot more gold. I really didn't want to, but this is moving a lot slower than I anticipated. So, another peasant's going to be created. And that, also, we're going to have him start building our structures just so we can go ahead and get through this video. I'm going to build farm. I'm going to put that farm right here. Meantime, we can train another peasant. This one, I think we're going to go ahead and have build a barracks. Put that right there. Scroll back up to this guy. Have him build another farm. And I would put that there, but we can't because we still need... Well, yeah, we can. Sorry. 
We put that one there, but before we can build another farm, we need to add in more cobblestone. And while I'm doing the cobblestone, I can have this guy help out with the wood over here. Go ahead and put the rest of our cobble. And I kind of messed it up a little bit, so... We'll actually do this a different way. build the last two farms we'll put one right here I want to do a lot of sitting here so This guy is done. He can build our last farm, and I'm going to put that one right here. And when all that is done, it'll give us a victory screen. May even call me a cheater for using the mods. But that is basically your first level in the original Warcraft Orcs versus Humans. Two, three, four, five, and six. And it should be good. There it is. We are victorious. We'll go ahead and save our game, save it to the RC style slot, enter, and it'll give me victory, corporal, all that crap. Um, in one of the older versions, if you used your modifications or cheats, and that it would refer to you as a treat, cheater, traitor, or something along those lines, and you wouldn't get any reward whatsoever, but you would still advance on to the next level. Well, that's going to serve the purpose today for our video on the original Warcraft. I'm going to remind you to hit the like and subscribe button. I want you to smash that notification bell so you don't miss out on more kick-ass and throwback videos from me and Gamers Purgatory. Be sure to join our Discord, and always, I will be seeing you. What? What? What?